Seiten. Präsident meines Landes zu sein, das war für mich die größte Ehre meines gesamten Lebens. Und ich wollte noch sehr viel erreichen, aber so sehr ich meine Arbeit liebe, ich liebe mein Land noch viel mehr. Und ich glaube, nach einer so langen Zeit im Amt ist es jetzt Zeit, dass eine neue Generation übernimmt. Vergessen Sie nicht, dass es immer etwas Wichtigeres gibt, als die eigene Macht festzuhalten. Und das ist das Volk, das wir vertreten. Ladies and Gentlemen, order. Order, please. I have a message for the tyrants of Tehran. If you strike us, we will strike you. There is no place. There is no place in Iran that the long arm of Israel cannot reach. And that's true of the entire Middle East. I come to you today as my people and for almost a year now are subjected to one of the most heinous crimes of our era. It is a crime of a full-scale war of genocide that Israel is perpetrating. Israel, the occupying state. A crime that so far has killed more than 40,000 martyrs in Gaza alone. And thousands remain under the rubble. A crime that has injured more than 100,000 others to this day, and matters are getting worse. And that is why I understand that some of you are asking, like in the Security Council two days ago, wouldn't the war be over if you Europeans just stop providing Ukraine with weapons? There's nothing wrong with asking that because we all wish for peace. But the idea that if there were no defensive weapons, there would be no fighting and no dying in Ukraine is as simple as it is wrong. As long as Putin is not willing to come to the negotiation table, stopping our support for self-defense would simply mean leaving Ukraine's children's hospitals defenseless. It would mean more war crimes, not less. Possibly in other countries too. We must restore nuclear safety. Energy must stop being used as a weapon. We must ensure food security. We need to bring home all our captured soldiers and civilians possibly deported to Russia. We must uphold the UN Charter and guarantee our right, Ukraine's right to territorial integrity and sovereignty, just as we do for any other nation. We need to withdraw the Russian occupiers, which will bring an end to the hostilities in Ukraine. And we must hold those responsible for war crimes accountable. In relation to Russia, the goal is to bring a strategic destruction. Почти как планировали Лондон и Вашингтон в мае 1945 года, разрабатывая еще до окончания Второй мировой войны операцию под названием «Немыслимая» по уничтожению Советского Союза. Тогда это держалось в строжайшем секрете, а нынешние англосаксонские стратеги своих замыслов не скрывают. Правда, пока рассчитывают победить Россию руками нелегитимного неонацистского киевского режима, но уже готовит и Европу к тому, чтобы и она бросилась в самоубийственную авантюру. Не буду здесь говорить о бессмысленности, опасности самой идеи пытаться воевать до победы с ядерной державой, каковой является Россия. 